referred to the digital project by her community mental health support workers. Catherine already had access to the internet at home, but due to a low income um, scenario, she was unable to afford a device that enabled her to get online, um, to access emails, to use the internet and complete some of her mental health support courses online. Um, so the project enabled her to get the iPad and have the one-to-one -one support that she needed to do these things. Due to her past experiences, Catherine was very isolated in life uh, and in her current situation. When she signed up to the project, she was incredibly anxious about interaction with someone that she didn't know. Um, before I could even start um, helping Catherine online, it was really important that I built a relationship with her. I spent a lot of my time talking to Catherine on the phone, um, finding out about her needs, um, allowing her to ask questions about me and my role and, and me as a person. Um, so we could build a really good foundation to be able to visit. At that point in time, I, I couldn't go out and I wasn't having any connection to the world, so I was really isolated. When I first met you, I was really nervous about you coming in and things like that, but you were really like friendly and you know very talkative and you, you made me feel quite at ease. Anything that you thought that I was interested in doing, you put it across to me and let me choose whether I wanted to use it or do it or whatever. One of the big things that we did during the project time was set Catherine up with a ring doorbell. Um, this enabled Catherine to use her iPad and the doorbell device to see who was at her door. Um, and with her isolation uh, and her loneliness, this was a huge, a huge step and a supportive tool for Catherine to use during that time. Um, I supported her with um, other visits from BT that she needed to um, upgrade her internet so she wasn't alone. And um, we were able to support her to do things such as setting up WhatsApp, um, WebEx and doing online support courses for her mental health. Um, and this is really important to, to Catherine as this is something that she wouldn't have done alone. I've got um, <clears throat> family that live in Wales and I've also got two cousins that live in Australia so I can use it to video time and speak to them on there which is something I wouldn't have been able to have done really on my phone. The bigger screen, I can see them, I can interact with them a bit more. One of the other things that Catherine was really interested in uh, being such a creative person was seeing how she can interact with creativity online. We set Catherine up with Pinterest um, and also some other websites where she could utilise crafting, learn new skills um, and she's even gone to, on to join some craft groups um, in Herefordshire linked to the skills she learned online. Well I've gone on Pinterest, is there anything I like on there or how could I do it differently or even down to making earrings and things, it's just you know, see on what, they, what they're what they doing and think, oh, I like that idea, and then I have a go myself. Catherine has really shown me that during this project, it's important to not just look at the technical element. There is a part of this that whilst you may give someone an iPad, you still need to show them what's available, how it links to them and how it associates their life. If it had been a tablet, I'd be like, I'm really grateful, but it would have been, what do I do? I'm not sure what I can do with it. For me, my life was about being inside, being isolated, not having connections with the outside world, much apart from my children. So to have somebody come along and be all like, hi and bubbly, it gives you that, okay, the world is, isn't so rubbish outside. And then it opens up my whole world to something new, different connections with family, you know, having to be able to, to, to look at things and get ideas. So then I start crafting more. So I'm not just sat there basically writing. Even though I know it sounds really stupid because it's the internet, it has given me more of life. It has. Catherine has gained a huge amount from the project, looking back over the last 18 months. Um, however, by her own admission, um, it's the face-to-face, -face, tailored, personal befriending support um, that enabled Catherine to really excel at using things online. Um, and actually, her confidence has grown from that support. A lot of my time was never spent showing Catherine how to download, how to access, how to use email, but it was there to sort of support and coordinate those things for her and show her what could be done. Um, and I think that's really important to, to understand from the project that not everyone needed that level of technical support but did need someone to support them as a friend through the process.